we take it for granted that our athletes show up to work every single time and sometimes we forget that there are people who work behind the scenes to make sure that they show up in their best shape and form my name is Nkosin Nube and tonight on Locker Room we're hosting Mr. Raymond Chikonzo, who is a manager at one of the gyms that houses some of the best athletes in the country. Mr. Ray, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. All right, so before we get into it, I want to know how you found yourself in fitness. Was it five-year-old Raymond saying, oh, okay, I want to be in fitness, or is it something that came up along the way? I would say um, something that came along uh -huh. the way. Um, yeah. Basically, I never thought I would be in the fitness industry growing uh -huh. up. Um, it so happened one year, I think around 2009, right. so it was a job interview, uh -huh. came up for the interview and then yeah, fast forward, I got the job, uh -huh. started off as a, just a general person right. by the reception uh -huh. and then obviously through the years and raising through the rings, and uh -huh. now, today I'm actually a manager today. Okay, you mentioned that this wasn't the plan, what yeah. was the initial plan? Um, you know, growing up, you always mm -hmm. have your own ambitions. Right. You want to be someone in life, but mm -hmm. you never. But with life, it doesn't yeah. take you to that uh, journey. So we just diversified. Uh, I wanted to be an accountant. Right. And also, I wanted to be in production. Mm -hmm. Funny enough. Um, right. So I've done a little bit of uh, part-time production mm -hmm. uh, for horse racing. Right. Which I do part-time here mm -hmm. and there. Um, but then, yeah, full time. I'm now actually a manager at the uh, Port Gym. All right, but what I'm hearing is both roads lead anyway to sport. Yes. So, is sport something that you're passionate about, or was it like just a by the way thing? It was something I was passionate about. Mm -hmm. I was um, at high school. I right. played cricket, mm -hmm. which I was very passionate about. I also wanted to play for Zim at one point of time, right. but uh, you know, life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, life. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm in the fitness industry, mm -hmm. which is a sports industry. So, right. yeah, this is where I am. But you still do get to support, like you're saying, you wanted to be in cricket, but you still do support a lot of people who are professionally in sport. Yes. You can feel free to name drop. We do that here. <laughs> so, who are some of the impressive, I guess, names that you've worked with um, in this gym? Yeah. I'll start off with uh, our previous manager. Mm -hmm. His name was uh, Victor Ungwe. Right. Uh, I want uh, Mr. Zim at one point in time. Mm. I'm not sure which year. Right. Um, but uh, yeah. he's one of the, the person that I worked with uh, mm -hmm. for years. Uh, now he's actually currently based in uh, Canada. Right. But yeah, uh, he was actually one of our role models here. Mm -hmm. in Jibia. All right. Yeah. So. I decide because I want to believe that it's different because yes. if I'm to come to the gym, I'm coming for for vibes essentially, but there's someone who's coming because they have to perform at work. So how different is the approach between someone who's coming maybe for regular fitness and someone who's coming because their body is the tool that they use to work? Um, a lot of ways. Um, mm -hmm. Some people, when they come to the gym, you know, uh, a gym is a rel relaxing place. Right. You know? um, some just want to get out of the world, mm -hmm. do exercise, keep their bodies in shape. Um, some do it out of um, passion, mm -hmm. just to also keep their bodies in shape and have a healthy body. Right. And then you have the athletes mm -hmm. who actually try to enhance their performance right. in whatever field they are in the mm -hmm. sport uh, to be a better sports person in, in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically people just come to the gym for different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll say basically, majority a higher percentage of people are just looking for fitness right and then obviously the lower percentage of the athletes who are doing it up for performance wise all right yeah. and then fitness what does that entail because and people have different needs the people want to be healthy yes. and those people just want to look good <laughs> right so what's the what's the difference in approach or maybe i should rephrase and say what is the essence of being in a gym is it me saying i want to look good is that motivation enough or as they should there be like a deeper goal for me to then come here and all right um yeah it also depends with the one's uh, personality right everyone has got their own different goals mm -hmm. um some as you see they're doing it for for the gram right <laughs> mm -hmm. they want to look good in videos and all stuff mm -hmm. like that so maybe outfits and also some do it for health wise right. you know certain people are referred to the gym by doctors. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a certain illness like high blood pressure and they're right. told, uh, go to the gym, mm -hmm. work out so that they maintain um, their blood levels, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And some also just like, you know, they have been in the gym industry like for years. Right. We have some clients who have been here for like the longest, ever mm -hmm. since we opened this gym, I think 2009. Right. Till today, they're still coming uh, to the gym. So they just do it for health reasons, yeah. 
Okay, so 2009 and this is 2024. Yes. That's about 15 years. True. So there's obviously something you're doing right. What do you think that is? <laughs> um, what am I doing right? <laughs> um, I'm not too sure. Uh -huh. I guess I'll probably need to ask my boss about that. <laughs> right. uh -huh. But uh, is this something, uh, you know, like through hard work, determination, right. you know, mm -hmm. you find yourself here. Um, by the grace of God as well, mm -hmm. you know, you have to give thanks. And um, yeah. And like I said, I think my boss will have to answer yes. that, but I think I'm doing something good mm -hmm. on the lines. So, hence the reason why I'm actually here. All right. Yeah. So what are some of the values that you instill in? Because you're the manager, but it, yeah. obviously there's a level of leadership because mm -hmm. the people are working under you who then yes. have to pass it down to your clients, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So what are some of those values that you, that you think you've passed down to everyone from your staff to your clientele? Um, with Body Active, uh, most people know it's like a, a family gym oriented right. environment. You mm -hmm. know, we're like one family. Mm -hmm. So it's something that we have instilled in each other, especially me and the trainers, right. um, my, my colleagues. Mm -hmm. You know, we've just tried to be like one family. Um, we're not here like this one is doing their own thing, this right. one is their own thing. You know, we try to incorporate mm -hmm. everything in one. Uh, so that we come with one goal mm -hmm. and uh, you know just enjoy the, the life at the gym yes <laughs> all right and then on a on a day to day because yeah. we haven't touched on this what does your day look like what are you what are your main activities that if if if, if Raymond doesn't do this today the place might shut down so what mm -hmm. is it that you do on a day to day um basically receiving clients mm -hmm. you know informing them about the gym right. new members old members uh, making sure the safety around the place is actually in order. Right. Uh, making sure the place is clean, all the equipment is all up to date mm -hmm. and service. Um, as you maybe saw, mm. our gym has recently been refurbished, right. so new equipment and stuff. So we're just trying to make sure our clientele is very happy. Um, so a happy client and then a happy business. Yeah. All right, Raymond, we still have so much to talk about. Sure. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back after this. And we are back on Locker Room. My name is Bussin Nube and we're still here with Manager Ray. We were talking all things fitness, fitness management, sports management, sort of, kind of. So with, with athletes, because I actually think that their egos are a lot more fragile than ours because they're public personalities. But on a day when they're not performing at their maximum or on a day where they can't be their best selves, what is it that you, as an individual and also as an organization, what is it that you do to get these people to a place where they're performing closer to what they usually do? All right. Um, so basically, I'm not getting go much into detail on that <laughs> topic because it's actually personal trainers are right. territory or environment, I'd mm -hmm. say. Um, but just personally, I know the trainers usually can actually push a client right. to their maximum because certain people can always, uh, you know, feel lazy mm -hmm. or they're like not into it. Yeah. But obviously with the personal trainer, they try to motivate them mm -hmm. into doing much more, obviously to try to reach right. their targets because uh, end of the day, people are wanting the results. Right. So if you're not into it, you won't get your results mm -hmm. or you won't reach your goal. So hence the personal trainers will actually motivate them and push them into reaching their uh, required goals. Right. Some people want to bulk up, mm -hmm. some people want to lose weight. Right. You know, some people are just doing it um, um, for sports wise, right. obviously to perform more in their field. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, basically I would say so. The trainers will actually will be there to push these guys up. Well, coming out of a place where we look at fitness and like eating well and looking after yourself, we look at it as, as a luxury, mm -hmm. obviously because there are people who can't afford that. But then what is it that you would say to someone who thinks, ah, fitness is for maybe one side of the country or maybe one, what would you say to a person who think, who regards like their personal fitness as, as a luxury rather than something that's like a basic, basic need? Um, if I were to say, yeah, that's mm -hmm. actually a wrong mindset. Right. Because as human beings, we need to be healthy. Mm -hmm. We all want to live long. All right. So a healthy body and a healthy mind, actually, you get mm -hmm. to live longer. And especially your heart. You right. Know, we, also, we always want to exercise your heart. So 
it's not a matter mm. of just it's luxury right uh you talked about in terms of uh, I think diet mm -hmm. um, is very also very important, and it's not much. Uh, people think that when it comes to diet, you're buying expensive things. Right. It's not all about that. It's mm -hmm. even your basic, like your veggies, are very much right. important. You know, your protein is very much important. So everyone can afford to buy vegetables. Mm -hmm. Everyone can afford to buy, um, I would say maybe chicken. Right. Uh, obviously, your beef incorporated, but you have to balance your diet somewhere mm -hmm. out there so that um, you have a healthy body so it's not about trying to maintain an expensive diet no. right everyone can afford a, a stable and a decent diet it's, it's possible it's doable actually all right yeah. i like that you're now mentioning the other support systems of okay gym is great yes. but it also has to be supported by some of these other things yes. other than other than diet which you've rightly mentioned what other things do you encourage people to like look out for other than diet and other than gym what else can someone do to maintain a generally healthy lifestyle but also a body that can function in the world of sport um a lot of things mm -hmm. um most of us uh, we like to drink a lot right alcohol. <laughs> uh if you can people always try to cut down mm -hmm. on the consumption of alcohol right. uh drugs at the day we're in an environment where most youths are doing a lot of drugs mm -hmm. which is not even good for your body right uh if people can sustain i mean abstain from um from taking drugs right. they actually would do themselves good um i would say basically those things and also just having you know research right. on uh, on when it comes to uh, about fitness mm -hmm. it's actually a good thing because uh, most people also think that uh, going to the gym is something luxurious right you can do without yes maybe some people can afford to come to the gym mm -hmm. but however you know a little bit of exercises out there right it's very much important you wake up have your early morning walk, maybe a 2K minimum, mm -hmm. um, your run, uh, right. a 2K also minimum, it can actually help you with your with your body and you have a healthy body. So at the end of the day, people should exercise mm -hmm. and also it helps them not to have any chronic illnesses. Right. Um, I know most people suffer from uh, blood pressure, mm -hmm. um, sugar and other things. So by exercising, it actually helps you a lot in life, yeah. All right. So as we as we move towards winding up the segment, yeah. like I said, we're very big name droppers here. So who are some? Because I understand that there is a boxing program that runs parallel to the gym, yes. and I hear they have a very impressive um, coach. Yes. Who is that? Uh, his name is Ali Piri. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been with him for a very very long time. Right. Um, Body Active actually, we used to have a, a boxing ring. Uh -huh. uh, at the moment, it's not available, but right. we're actually in the process of acquiring uh -huh. another boxing ring. Um, those are the facilities actually we give to our right. boxers, and uh -huh. also they can use any equipment right. in the gym to enhance their performance. We also have big names that uh, came out of Body Active Gym. Uh, right. Some people know, mm -hmm. some people may not know, right. but uh, Manucci used to train here. Right. That, few, that's an impressive one. Yeah. Few, yeah. <laughs> a few years back, yes. Manucci used to train at mm -hmm. the Body Active Gym. Um, I think that's the one person I remember. Right. But also, there are other boxers mm -hmm. that came out uh, Body Active, but they might not have their names out there. Right. But, um, the, in, in, in the same way. I mean, yeah. with time, these it's, things exactly. these <laughs> things take time. But then well, outside of the equipment, what other support systems? Like if I'm coming into the gym, what mm -hmm. am I getting? Other than I hear the equipment, yeah. but I can get that at any gym. Right. So why why here? Um, we could also have the things like uh, we got the, a, a swimming pool facility. All right. Um, people can use our pool. Um, we also have stairs uh, at the risk course we have um, advantage we got uh, stairs that people right. can use and also run around the race course mm -hmm. uh, around the track you can actually you can do that as well so it's also not just uh, equipment based right. you can also broaden up your your training program by uh, mm -hmm. doing other things as well all right and yeah. things that and things that are not material um, we could mm -hmm. also go classes, right. uh, classes such as Zumba, mm -hmm. we got a pump class, we got a high-low class. Right. Um, so even a stretch and tone mm -hmm. Pilates class as well. Mm -hmm. um, people can also come and partake of those uh, activities apart from the equipment. All right, so we're going to go for another quick break. But when we come back, I want to talk about you mostly. <laughs> like we've <laughs> spoken a lot of fitness stuff and a lot of gym stuff. Right. But when we come back, I want to talk about you, what it is that you want for the future, what you want for yourself, what you want for the for the organization as well. All right. You're watching Locker Room. I'm Gosin Lube. We'll be right back.
and we are back on Locker Room with Manager Ray, who manages the establishment where some of your favorite actors go to train. <laughs> so you've mentioned that you have all these people that report to you and you have all these responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But when that is happening, who's taking care of you? What do you think your support system looks like? <laughs> Uh, who's taking care of me? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lovely missus back home there. Right. <laughs> She's the one who takes care of me. Mm -hmm. uh, tries to make sure that I eat well. Mm -hmm. um, always at work on time. Right. And yeah, basically she just runs my life. I All right. <laughs> and then do you also get the time to practice everything that you're preaching? I know we talked about training. I know we talked about diet. I know we talked about good and bad habits. Do you think that you managed to put those into actively into into your lifestyle yes um, people that know me especially right. at body active yes they know when I started off here I was never really a fitness person right. but over the years I started actually training by uh, them actually motivating me mm -hmm. into training uh, myself as well right. so they actually helped me a lot um, times when I'm not busy mm -hmm. and when I'm not at the desk actually get inside Right. Do at least a minimum of 30 to 45 minutes mm -hmm. workout, you know, um, at times I also have a stressful day, you know, I'll be out there doing some other errands, right. but when I do get the time, yes, actually, I do work out. Yes. All right. And I hear, you have to tell me, I hear that all it takes, because we know of a lot of people who start and then just halfway they're like, eh, no, I'm one of those people. Yeah go to the gym two, three days and you're like, eh, no, I'm not here to suffer. <laughs> but um, I understand that it takes about three weeks or 21 days to build a habit of active. Yes. Is that true? That is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. um, most people actually uh, fall out maybe the first week of training because right. it's, it's a new thing that's happening to your body. Mm -hmm. So it's tiresome and, and hard. Right. Um, but you know, you just need determination. Mm -hmm. You need to just persevere into that. If put your mindset into it, mm -hmm. you know, after that one week, I, I guarantee you, your body now gets, starts getting used to it. Right. And in about four weeks to six weeks, you can actually start seeing improvements in your body. Um, even uh, physics side or, right. or energy side, you start mm -hmm. to have a lot of energy, right. you know, and by doing so, you don't want to stop. Right. Especially for us guys, you know, when mm -hmm. your your muscles are now growing mm -hmm. a little bit bigger, you feel nice about yourself. Right. You don't want to stop. Mm -hmm. You want to keep that appearance on yourself. And then also with the ladies, you know, um, they also have different goals. Right. Um, if you're losing, trying to lose weight, mm -hmm. and then in six weeks you see yourself, you've dropped a few cages, mm -hmm. you know, and you can see yourself, you can go further. I right. know people still want to continue doing that. So. Um, just the first week or so, I know people will try to, like, ah, it's difficult, let me to drop, but do not give up. Mm -hmm. Continue doing it, and then you'll see that your body adjusts, and the next thing is just uh, small sailing, go from onwards. Right. Earlier yeah. you said something about the gym being a place of, um, I think you said release or something close like a that. Stress reliever. Stress reliever. But yeah. it could also be a source of a lot of insecurities. I'm here day one. I have things hanging where they shouldn't be hanging and then there's this person mm. next to me who looks, you know, <laughs> yeah. how then would you encourage someone to like be okay with that and just trust the process and, and just continue with it? Right. Uh, like I said earlier on, uh, our environment at Body Active is right. like a family environment. Mm -hmm. We're not here to judge anyone. Right. Um, people who feel like that, we end up actually trying to assist them, mm -hmm. make them feel at home, you right. know, um, ask for their goals, what they're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. And then the personal trainers actually can give them a training program um, or even personal train them like, okay, this is your goal, let's right. go. Um, so at the end of the day, we do not judge people. Uh -huh. We are all a one happy family, right. uh, regardless of your, your shape and size, you know, we all get there. And we should also understand as human beings, we're not created the same. Right. We're all different. So your goal might be different from mm -hmm. my goal. Um, end of the day, you just focus on what you're trying to achieve. All right, yeah. so now 15 years in, I think you've said, since yeah. 2009. Mm -hmm. um, what's the one thing that still remains consistent? I know you said you started here, then you worked your way up, but yeah. obviously I'm sure there's things that still feel like it's 2009, in a good way. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are some of those things that still feel very familiar? Um, for me, mostly will be the client. Right. The clientele. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, some of them who have been together since 2009 till right. today, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's just 
gives me happiness right. that these guys are actually still coming to the gym mm -hmm. and still caring what they're caring from us. Right. Um, so I would say maybe we're doing something wrong mm -hmm. or I'm doing something correct, <laughs> right. I, I, yeah. I, I would say, but it's something that I actually enjoy mm -hmm. seeing the same faces coming into the gym and also the new faces coming in the gym as well. Yes. And then tell me about, like you're saying, you've had some of these people for the past close to 20 years now. Yeah. What's a, how do you feel when you see, maybe there's a Ngosi who came here, she was maybe a little not so fit and then and, and but then now it's a year later and it's a two it's two years later and she looks like a completely different person and yeah. presents as a much better person what does that do for you it's a good feeling right. um i would also tell you that um since i started working here mm -hmm. there's some guys uh, that i've seen such uh, training at the right. gym when they were still in high school right now they're adults mm -hmm. and they're still coming here right. actually it, it, it gives me so much uh, happiness seeing right. them that they're still with us and we've created a bond. Mm -hmm. You know, every time they come here, it's no longer like uh, Ray and client, it's right. more like a friendship thing. Yes. Um, but yes, keep it professional, mm -hmm. you know, but it's something that I actually enjoy seeing. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, as you say, uh, 20 years into being here, right. almost 20 years, mm -hmm. someone was actually in primary school, high school, yes. and now the adults mm -hmm. seeing this transition happening to them right. and you know having focus in life, but that's actually good. Mm -hmm. yes. So we've spoken about the past. What mm -hmm. is it that you want to do? You've done, again, I'll keep saying, because it's such an impressive number. You don't get people who stick around that long anymore. Yeah. So you've been here as long as you have, but yeah. what does the future look, for you, look like for you? Um, Maybe I'll be still here, maybe for the right. next 100 years. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who's to say? Who's to say, yes. Right. Um, yeah. I've now grown a, a big passion about fitness mm -hmm. uh, and also just spending time with people. Right. Actually, it brings me so much joy, you know. You have your ups and downs here. Not every day is a good day, mm -hmm. but I try to make most out of it. And, right. um, and people also who know me, I don't get upset easily, right. so I try to be cheerful and mm -hmm. try also bring people's spirits up, right. you know. Um, so I, I, I still myself, see myself still yeah. being here and mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I'll be able <laughs> to go anywhere else. So right. I'll be, I'll be, uh, and for yes. the people who've passed through your hands, yes. as would say, uh, what is it that you wish for them? Even if they decide to transition and like grow beyond being here, but what is it that you wish for, for the clients that you've worked with? Uh, more help and more help. I would wish that upon them and uh, um, the ones maybe who have left, I would wish they'll come back and they'll see what we have done with the gym and stuff. Um, with also certain athletes, right. um, we'd also want them to, to be part of mm -hmm. our family as well. Right. Uh, not just individual athletes, we also want to incorporate maybe teams like right. soccer teams, rugby teams, um, people like that so mm -hmm. that they come and also just uh, see how the gym uh, works right. and it, how it actually enhances their performance when right. they're doing um, uh, their line of work in the, in the, in the whatever sport fraternity they're in. Yeah. All right, Manager yeah. Ray, this has been so much fun. I'm glad that we finally got to do this because this has been, I think, a month of back and forth. <laughs> can't we, can't we, can't we, can't we? And yes. I'm glad that we finally managed to sit down and, and, and talk to you. So thank, thank you so you. much thank you. for your time. Yeah. This was Locker Room with Manager Ray. I'm Gosting Mube. See you next time on Locker Room, the superstars behind the superstars. <laughs>